This lesson is on organic chemistry part two. It covers esterification, combustion, and polymers. The first part is esterification. This is basically the reaction that forms an ester. In order to form an ester, you take an alcohol and you re react it with carboxylic acid and it results in an ester and water forming. This is a the type of reaction that esterification is, is a condensation reaction. It's not really a common question, but just in case they ask that. Um, the ester that forms based off of the alcohol and carboxylic acid, the name it gets is the carbon number from the alcohol. So using the numbering system, would form the first part, al, and the second part would be the carbon number from the carboxylic acid, again, using the numbering for organic chemistry, anoate. So in other words, if you had ethanol, it would be ethyl, and if the carboxylic acid was propanoic acid, it would be propanoate. So the prefix, from the alcohol joins al, and the prefix from the carboxylic acid joins the anoate. Okay, an important thing is that it needs con um, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, which is over here, to react as it acts as a catalyst in the reaction. Okay, here's an example of an esterification reaction. I've written it over two lines like this because it's a very long reaction. So we start off with ethanol as our alcohol. We know it's ethanol because there are two carbons and we know it's an alcohol because of the OH. We're going to add methanoic acid. That is when there's one carbon in a carboxylic acid. The H from the OH in the ethanol and the OH with the methanoic acid, they join to form water, which leaves an open and bonded oxygen and carbon over here for the ester to form. So you kind of cut this piece out for the water and then in between there is where the ester joins, as you can see here. Since we had ethanol, we had ethyl, and because we had methanoic acid, it was methanoate. So ethyl, methanoate, and water. Remember the catalyst of sulfuric acid. That is basically all you need to know for esterification, is just how to write an equation and how the name forms. And also to know that an ester how if they had asked how would you know that the reaction is complete because there would be a pleasant smell because esters have on us smelling compounds okay then we move on to combustion this is just another type of reaction it's when a hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide water and heat generally what they would do is have one of these be a missing figure and you would have to figure out so for example if they gave you the oxygen the carbon dioxide and the water they would ask you what hydrocarbon was used in this reaction and you would just have to use your balancing figures because you would need so many carbons on this side to balance the carbons on this side as well as the hydrogens and hydrogens and just to note that it produces heat we then move on to polymers. Polymers are macromolecules. They're basically a whole bunch of small monomer units that join and form long chains. Yeah, that's why they're long chains there. The definition for this is important. Um, also a side note, I think this is only for the CAPS syllabus. So IEB students do not need to learn this. This is also a very small, small section in the CAPS syllabus but it is still important. Okay. 
In order to form polymers, there are two different types of reactions that can occur. The addition polymerization reaction or the condensation polymerization. From past experience, the addition polymerization is sometimes the more common one. Um, basically, you just need to know how to draw a polymer, which is illustrated over here. And this is a monomer. Ethene, because of the double bond of the two carbons, N means there's N number of these. There's however many number of these and they all join in a long chain to form a, to form polyethene and this basically just carries on for n number of times that's what the n stands for over here it's quite a basic um, reaction but to remember all the little details like the double bond the brackets the n and these um bond lines being extended outside the bracket to show that it's a long chain of them. The second type, which I've mentioned, is the condensation polymerization. This is very similar to esterification since it's an alcohol with a carboxylic acid to form some sort of ester. But again, it's with polymers and not just general organic compounds. And they also form water. So once again, you're going to have your alcohol just this time, it's again a long chain of them and a long chain forming a long chain. The H and the OH, basically we cut it out in incorrect terms to put our water over here. And this oxygen will join to that carbon over here. And this will be a continuous long chain. That's why the OH is on both sides and it just will keep on happening, happening and form one long ester polymer. And again, note the N because it happens for N number of times. This is one reaction that is flowing from here down to the bottom. I've just written it on two lines because there was not enough space. And that is all for this lesson. It was a very short lesson, just a recap of a few of the reactions that weren't mentioned in the reaction types of reaction video. Um, because they're slightly different, but yes, that is all.